All right, that's it. That, that, Daniel, that's great. That's great. That's great. That's great. Good for me. Yeah, Santa, help him. Well, I, I'm sorry, we usually don't have rabies at the tabernacle. I don't know what's happening here. Major's a miracle drug, by the way. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, but ladies and gentlemen, there's so much more. Please welcome to the stage the mysterious and alluring Yaz. Give Yaz a round of applause. How many people watched the Super Bowl last night? Okay, how many of you, how many of you watched Beyonce's halftime last night? Yeah. Alright, that's what I fucking thought. <laughs> that's what I did. I was on Tumblr, and then somebody told me that she sucked live, and I was like, oh hell no. So I spent 30 minutes out of my precious lifetime looking, no, and they cut down every single one. Finally, I found one on, like, Tumblr.com or Huffington Post or some shit. Yeah, she killed it. In, in, the, in the spirit... Of uh, being Beyonce Knowles okay. and um, calling a press conference for no reason. I, I would like everyone to please stand and put their hand over their genitals. Uh, Just one hand, that's not gonna count. If, if you have genitals, if not, that's okay. Just one of them. I pledge allegiance to What? Yeah. 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 All jobs are tit jobs. <laughs> Wait a minute. Can we talk about how much I fucking love America for a second? <laughs> I fucking love a some bitch in England was spreading a rumor that we don't have those um malt balls, you know those chocolatey ones? There's some rumor going around in Great Britain that we don't have that shit. They're called Maltesers, Maltesers in England, and but we call them with the little, 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 little like chocolate malt ones. Malted milk balls. Malted milk balls. Well, they have them in England, but they're called malt. Yeah, whoppers. There's a rumor going on that America doesn't have them, and I want everyone to know that's a goddamn lie. Why? We have like three different kinds. Okay. America is the only place. Actually, never mind. I'm just gonna show them something now.
just one up here on set. Oh, out there. I sing this shit live for the first time. The first time. You know, the best time anyone ever sang that shit was when Whitney Houston did it. It was the literal best. If any of you haven't heard it, you need to do that shit. But it was before the crack. Wait a minute. She didn't start doing crack until after the bodyguard. She admitted it. <laughs> it was a really traumatic fucking experience. I don't know if you've seen the music video for, um, what's it called, but it's really sad. Do it, good. Let's look up the Bodyguard music video, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. So it's Black History Month, I told. You wanna know how I found out? You wanna know how I found out? I found it's Black History Month, not because I remember that shit, but because my internet was like flooded with white children asking really stupid questions. <laughs> like, where would we be if Harriet Tubman hadn't refused to sit at the back of the bus? <laughs> and what year did Africa declare its independence as a country? And my personal favorite, why don't we have White History Month? <laughs> Because every month is White History Month. See, they, it's just, I don't know. I don't know how, actually, I do know how I'm coping with it. I, uh, I struggled for a long time about how to deal with racists. And I found the answer. Every time I'm offended, I'm going to punch someone in the nuts. And I don't care who. So, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna encourage racists to not be racist. Because if they're racist at me in a room full of their friends, one of their friends get hit in the nuts. <laughs> Nobody wants to be the person who brings that on somebody else. Just remember that shit. Watch yourselves. <laughs> I'm gonna... Uh, <laughs> I will show you... Okay, here's a, here's a poem. I didn't know this was supposed to be fucking science night. Or I would have had fucking science-y things. Yeah, but here's one about microphones, kind of. It's called Mic Check. Really? Yeah. Is this gonna be one of those places where I can't tap the goddamn mic? Goddamn right. Please tap it really hard. Tap it. I won't tap it. Fine. I won't tap it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm still going. Roll with it. It's okay. Make sure you only tap it while it's still. <laughs> it's okay. I got you. I fucking got you. This one's called Loud Sounds, Peace at Heart and Wisdom. This ubiquitous wish kiss to the cosmic wish fist slams hard in the jaw of a young, dark, hot broad. That's me. Quite near, my dear, as a hidden fear to this great size sphere. We sing it. Yo escucho el hueso latido en un we sing it, no escucho el hueso latino del universo, we sing it. I hear the very bone beat of the universe, yes. I hear within my skull the lambskin whooping of a coffee crone, a mother, and a maiden manifest in flesh salah. I cringe at the list with Sisyphus, a kiss fix as dreaded as the blitz around the slim fruit cocktails, skipping up the Alps and Paris to the safety of the second story bunker, I digress. The kiss of Sisyphus meets bone mass with the full force of a bad idea. This romance, his and mine, is a blank price tag. The worth of it is empty, save the weight of death. It is a hollow cost. He finds fragments of my bone shine spirit, hidden somewhere in the ribcage of my frame, but he does not lend his ears to wisdom, nor his tongue to kindness, ruthless truths, nor faithful learning still. The consummate cacophony of a kingdom holding out rings in my cavity, and I plug up the blossom words out of the stanzas of a roaring song. I dip my hands into the open mouths of angels and with fingersmith precision snatch the secrets of the kingdom's congregation, pin the free tin to the pines, pick poppy poisons for my troubles, and I hold my mouth minced, lips shut, tongue pinched in the grudge grip of my teeth because nobody is asking me, only screaming at the sky with outstretched arms and wrists so tender, begging earth to swallow sadness, never mind the humble madness of considering the void could have a voice. <laughs> this one is called Apathetic. All you theater nerds are gonna like it. Woo! For one reference, the first line. I'm going to say it like it's supposed to be pronounced and not the way that American theater folks are saying it. She's waiting for Gatto, and I am waiting for the epitaph. 
This hardwood cold rendition of a life is not endowed with grace like upwards facing grass leaves. It is wine soaked yarn vexed into a fist sized knot and called a ball. And then a heart. And then a stone with no sword, only sabers, no spades, only switchblade tongues, no scepters, only twigs and dry bouquet, bouquet of done ideas. She makes her martyr's office standing. Toes skim the brim of an unpleasant cliff. Face stony, glaring at the sea. Clad in black leaves, hay veils, and ashen comforts. She is waiting for the climax. I am waiting past the address. And that was a, a favorite song of mine. Now it's related to Black History Month. This is not a gender war, Salam. 
It is a bloodbath, dirty brawl. The blood is stagnant. Didn't anybody ever teach us that war is a dirty word? That kill is a curse word? That rape is not a minced oath, son of son of Salah. Children run on mulch and pavement, screaming vows they will murder one another, screaming hoarsely, kill, kill, kill. And maybe it's just that numbs our senses. The cool familiarity of tragedy upon our tongues, a bullet to the head is worrisome. A bullet to the head is comical. A bullet to the head is a flooring plot twist we've all seen before. A bullet to the head is merciful. A bullet to the head is not a phrase that breaks our heart. We wear crucifixes like diamonds. We believe that we are hard. Sana, sana, salah. Loose lips seek ships. Sana, salah, parte tres. It is no surprise to me that trauma is a common thing. Everything is funny, right? Everything can be funny. An amputee joke in a veteran's clinic is a weighty thing. My heartbeat hits the ground. <laughs> Four women sit, a small coven of sisters, and I am the one. The other three are not aware that one in four college women are victims of rape. One in four women living in the U.S. will be raped before death. One in ten men. Ninety-five percent of the women I have mentioned will not report this rape to anyone, at least of all the police. Sana, 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 salah, I did it. It happened the first time shortly after I first walked. Salah. Again, after just before finishing high school, sana, sana, salah, school. Hands around my neck and legs quite open, salah. Again, as a freshman in my best friend's bed, salah. Again, on a hook up a few months after my graduation, sana, sana, again. In a crowded club, again, and again, and again. And I feel alone and safe from a thousand more. Salah. But these three don't know that. These three women don't know that I wake up with vomit in my mouth and cursed the angel that prevented me from choking on the bile. I never told them that the worst days of my life had been the ones in which I chose to live, when all I wanted was soil around my tired bones. They don't know that I can hear their breaths and monitor the changes. They don't know that I am vigilant and waiting for the next time to be ready, listening for the footsteps, watching for the signs of someone I should trust has become the flesh of danger. Ina art, ina art, ina art, but the guap. I leave a lot of bars these days, stubborn enough to stay out when I want to be alone. Wary enough to fox up from the streets where hungry eyes lay soft upon me. I leave a lot of conversations, but a lot of time on restroom floors, screaming silently to God with little to no articulate thoughts, only letting out the white noise in my chest. Only vomiting my feelings up like whiskey espresso shots, I skip a lot of memes because I like to feel myself die. Instead of only being aware of it on an intellectual basis, I drink a lot of coffee so that I can feel my heart race all the time. Get used to it. Not notice it when people back me up against a wall. I keep a lot of secrets shepherd. I tell a lot of lies. I lose a lot of lovers buckle because I will not wear a rape victim on my chest blink. And I cannot go a full month without purpling up when touch is really madly. Tense because I am not a victim. Porque no soy tu chiste, and I will not bend to sorrow, terror, swallow. But my shikabani spirit is a purgative creature, and my body is a survivor of trauma. Now may the heroes of the word be shackled soft and swift of whim. Tell a PTSD in a nursing home. Tell your children you will kill them. Buy your children war games. Teach them nothing but conflict. Feed them KFC. The general's good checking. Buy them the general's life insurance. Peace is boring. Support our troops, motherfuckers, and eat your goddamn vegetables.
That's Yaz, everybody. Give her a round of applause. Hey, church gets heavy sometimes. What do you want? Do you the devil or not? Yes. <laughs> the Reverend Angel does. You may quote him on that. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a little musical performance? Are you excited? We haven't seen the likes of this gentleman in quite a while. We're so glad that he's back. Please welcome to the stage the music of John. Give him a round of applause. Even a biblical name. What can we do? Let's take a moment to set this up. Thank you for coming. Are you having fun?
sugar. Uh, I keep flipping through the book until I found found a tune that's genuine, that's actually, it's really rock and roll. That's I can only waltz. find it, but it's not a waltz. Oh, I just right, I have to play nothing but waltzes. Uh, I will never find it again. I can never find the tune when I want to. We have the joyful jig.
round of applause. That was fantastic. Wow, that was a nice uh, way to, you know, I was thinking of the Renaissance Festival when he was playing. We had our own little Renaissance in here tonight. That's terrific. Ladies and gentlemen, you're at the Tabernacle of Hedonism at Club 1982, actually 1982 Bar. Is that the official corporate name? 1982 Bar, right? In the true Midtown Gainesville, Florida, home of the Fighting Gators and the Brand Institute. Did everybody get to smell my soap? I did. No. Yeah, did you want to smell the soap? Not yeah, we're passing that around. What does it smell like? Quit smelling and bring out Logan. Well, Logan isn't performing tonight, I'm sorry to say. But ladies and gentlemen, you probably want to move in for our next performer. Can you all come on in here and quit being so, you know, hiding in the corners and all? Come on in. Join the church. We only have two more performers. Oh, and this next one's a doozy. No pun intended. Dude, you want to smell the soap? Yeah, go ahead. That comes from uh, the Minister of the Interior uh, bequeathed that to me as he took power. I don't know where he got that interior. <laughs> it's yours, babe. It's good. That's delicious. Yeah, don't touch the actual soap, please. I need to use that to clean. Hey, you know that, cart, that Coke is worse wow. for you now. Uh -oh. Yeah, well. Tell me, like, can I eat it? Uh, you can't. I'm sure you can. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Yeah, no, you got your teeth in it, it's contaminated yes. now. I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna be like Ballard and have foam coming out of my mouth. Zan and I love you. Are we uh, in the neighborhood of ready to rock and roll here? Oh, always. We are. Ladies and gentlemen, get ready. Hey, uh, you guys, seriously, Deacon uh, Mike, Zan I, come on, come in the middle here. You, you trust me, you, you, you must trust me, you trust me, right? You want to be out here for this. Okay, just step back behind the splash zone. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not Logan. Logan isn't here. Wesson, help, you know, come on. You guys, you're being, you're being, uh, I love whoever's getting on stage. Yeah. Okay, here we go. You better get excited. Ladies and gentlemen, Please welcome to the stage, Susie Pax Anuzi. Can we get one of these stage bitches to bring a chair up to the stage room, please? Stage bitch! Please, please. Please. a stage bitch with like a kissy kiss right now, please. Stage bitch! Bring the stage bitch. Bring, bring, bring the stage bitch any kind of chair, you dumb bitch. Bring the stage. God, this goddamn cockscrapes. Thank you so much. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Come back. Woo! Thank you very much. I've always wanted. The glorious spark bubble she is, isn't she? Well, a couple of weeks ago, we had this child come on stage and he. What did they do? They turned into a. a a fucking bud or something like that? Yeah. Did anyone see that? Yeah. It was fucking! It was, it was the fucking shits, I tell you. But, I've uh, come very far from, uh, uh, Tom Bella, what country did I come from? Uh, Norway. Scandinavia. Yeah. Scandinavia. 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 Yeah, that's what it is. the, the spring is beautiful there. Uh, <laughs> In, in any event, the, the, the poor Claude, the poor Sir, uh, would, like me to, would like me to do a couple numbers tonight, because I, I, I've heard that in Gainesville, drag queens don't sing. Is this true? Oh, I've heard Listen. something. Listen. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard something to that effect, that there are a bunch of lip-stinking gutter sluts. I've heard that. <laughs> Fucking scantatrons. But, but the, I'll be doing two. The young lad likes the, the first one very much. I, I'm sure they've done it quite a few times in this town, but one moment, please. Very technical technology. Sound guy, are you ready? Yep. Thank you, love.
hands keeping my socks on. Got those swollen hand blues. I got 13 channels of shit on the TV to choose from, to choose from, to choose from.
Thank you, Queen Susie. Thank you, Bob. Fabulous. The Tabernacle of Hedonism would like to conclude this evening with a brief message from the Reverend. Remember, next week we celebrate V-Fest at a predominantly female-powered show. So, men, you better step to the side. Jill Burton will be here. Sheila Bishop will be here. Jessica Arnold will be here. And uh, a few more surprises that I'm not at liberty to reveal right now. Ladies and gentlemen, before we welcome Reverend Deacon James Wesson to close out our show with a power-packed performance he'll be setting up, let's have a final thought from the one and only the Reverend Angel Dust, our spiritual leader. Hallelujah, people. I just want to send out a prayer to Brother Little Jake Mitchell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, Little Jake Mitchell has been given the honor of performing at the Arts Garage in Delray Beach on 420. Wow. And as you know, 420 is the most important American holiday. Yes, so if you want to celebrate the greatest American holiday, 420, in style, remember Little Jake, 420, down in Delray Beach on a Saturday, which does not conflict with the subsequent Tabernacle of Hedonism service here at 1982. Hallelujah. And if you see any of the concert announcements for Little Jake Mitchell, other than 420, please say that you may be coming. And this is very important because it gives him confidence on going to the 420 festival and celebrating there because it, even though you may not be coming, it helps him boost his confidence. Hallelujah. So if you want to get a double dose of little Jake, remember, 420 in Delray Beach. Hallelujah. Let's send out a prayer to little Jake Mitchell. Brother little Jake Mitchell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And let's remember 420 is the most important American holiday. Hallelujah. And I testify to this being a professional Canadian. Hallelujah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a Kodak moment. Kodak moment. Anyone else? Hello, Brown. Let's look that way for a different place. Instagram. Instagram. <laughs> okay, I think we got it. You need one? You need one? John needs one. You got one? Okay. Good. All right. Thank you, Reverend Angel Dust, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming to the Tabernacle of Hedonism. Hope to see you all next week. Bring your friends. Once again, my thanks to 1982. Staff management, everybody here. Thanks. Uh, for helping us sound great in the back. Give our sound and a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. If we sounded good, it's because he's working hard. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage to close out our show, the incomparable, the one and only, and he is an accredited reverend under the Universal Life Church, the only one with an actual piece of paper. Reverend Deacon James Wesson, give him a round of applause. this week.
Let's see if this works, huh? Is this a song? This isn't a song, but let's see if it works. I don't have very much battery. I hope this works. Okay. Oh, wait. There it is. Now, it's, now it works. Okay. Turn it up. That's the... There it is. Probably gonna need that a little more. Can you turn it up on the iPod? I can turn it up a little bit. It's, it's super low. Oh, man. I wish I knew. Hold on. Oh, whoops. Okay. Super quiet. Wait, alright. I can get up to like here. Shuffle dance. That's okay. better. Thank you. Alright, I'm gonna do this song. Um, Jessica showed up earlier and then left. So, I'm gonna do this one. Yo guys, this is a this is a thing I did. Maybe. Alright guys. Fuck. God. Alright, so now we have a connection. Right? So let's just go. What's going on? What is this? What is this? What is this? <laughs> no? Alright. Alright. I can't I can't I can't do this song anymore. Alright. Alright. So now I have to find a different song. What should I do, guys? Shuffle dance. Um, this is not a poetry jam. This is my fucking show, and I'm not I'm not doing anything that I don't want to do. I'm gonna do an old song. Do something with an intro. I'll just just speak for a few minutes while like, while it's about to happen. This is an old song from my repertoire, and uh, what are you? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> 